Hey guys, it's Mark and Blair with Hawkeye Ordnance. We just uh, finished shooting up the Vortex Shooter Source 3 Gun Match 2019, and um, probably my favorite match of the year. Yeah, absolutely. If, uh, if you guys have a shot in action parade match, this is the one to come to. Totally. It's uh, and Jeremy does a great job making sure your vacation dollar is well spent, which is ultimately what this is about for yep. most people. Uh, one of the things we did when we were down here is spend some time with a shot show caddy we have not, you know, as a miss probably um, checked out yet, which is the Invictus Practical. So, um, you know, it, just to kind of lay the groundwork for the conversation in the world of shot show caddies, there's kind of three big players. You've got Carbon Arms, Tacom, and Invictus. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, you know, if we put that on the retention um, spectrum, right, it would be kind of Invictus over here on the fastest with the least retention, Tacom kind of right in the middle, yep. Carbon Arms over here on the high retention, but maybe a little slower. Yep. Um, I've been shooting the Carbon Arms as well as you for years. Yep. And uh, you decided to carry these to the shop. Yeah, we did. Um, we were kind of looking for a carrier, a uh, shell carrier to, to keep, you know, in the shop and and uh, and uh, use ourselves, obviously. Um, you know, we like to use the stuff that we're selling. You know, yeah. it's the only way you can be kind of honest about it. Totally. Um, we looked around. Um, we used, like you said, we used carbon arms for years. We wanted to try some of these. Uh, see, some of these, uh, the Rack 12 in, intrigued me yeah. because of the adjustments that are built in to this thing. So in our neck of the woods too, it's a lot of fast shotgun and bays. So you know, the retention isn't necessarily as important per se. Yeah. But yeah. The, yeah. So we're we're not doing a lot of prone rifle after you shot. Yeah. 40 shotgun. Rounds, correct. correct. Um, but yeah, they're they're they got a great system on the back of the plate. Um, so you can you've got several degrees of of canting. Um, Let's lay out the basics first. We got what well, this is a uh, machined aluminum frame mm -hmm. with the mold injected clips, and they've they've updated this design a few times. So you get a sense of what that looks like. And then they've got these uh, two different systems for mounting them. So this one, go ahead, it's got the. Yeah, I use the LS clip on this, uh, you know, but you could put, you know, any retention system for your belt that you want to have. Yep. Um, but yeah, the machined aluminum backers, um, you can adjust clips in and out. Um, you can adjust the, the, the can to the camber um, of the mount as well. So you can have them straight up and down. You can have them turn one way or the other. Um, you know, and these are the ones they did in collaboration with Nerd. Um, and then there's spacers on the bottom here. Um, this one's just flat, but you can have them come out at an angle, like I've got here on my belt. This is the ones that I ran all weekend, so I had them so that they canted out so that they were, you know, if you're gonna bend over, they're kinda out of the way. Gives you a chance to, to pull through with uh, with your loads and... Uh, I guess that very sick. We've got um, Rihanna Cadrick's dad cameo peeing in the background over there. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So, the cool thing I really like about them is that, you know, they've got the widest amount of pre-adjustment the way you know exactly the way you want them to ride yeah. on your belt There's of no anything else out there in the, in the market yep. and uh you know so you know and i've got this one set up so that i could take it remove my holster if i'm not doing any pistol work and it's a huge shotgun hoser stage this one's just straight up and down so i can stick it on the end here so i got another row that we can pull from so that's a perfect cameo <laughs> So you're doing the, um, the 12s, right? And um, and I was doing the 8s, because what I'm looking for with these is high-speed bay, because I'm actually mixing them up. And you did a little of that this week, too, right? Yeah, yeah, we're, you know, just trying to, you know, a lot of slugs in this match. So yep. I was running some, you know, there were some times where you're gonna have to load for slugs in the middle. Yep. So I'm not a huge candy cane guy, you know, because it, you gotta make sure you don't miss. And so I, I just wanna be kind of slow and steady wins the race, even though I'm not gonna win the race, but you know, I, I keep one for birdshot, one for slugs, you know. Um, I prefer a, a 12 rack mark like eight. It's yep. you know, it, they're you, you're covered on each end, you know, and it's it's nice to have a mix of everything. Yeah. You know, you really don't know how those the stages are going to lay out for you. So one thing I really found this weekend, these are these are definitely really fast and really smooth, and I really enjoyed using them. So that's all. The, I mean, we we covered all the basics, right? Look, they're, they're mm -hmm. highly highly adjustable, very well made. There's no question about that. You're gonna like them. We did a bunch of laying down on them today. We week. did a lot of prone rifle and, on top of these, and they didn't break. They're top of nails. So I, I can highly recommend them for that. I mean, they're not the cheapest game in town, but they're uh, they're really well built. Um, so then the question is, you know, using them, right? So originally when Blair brought this to my attention that he was going to bring these into the shop, I wanted a bunch of these eights because I shoot a lot of base stuff in Minnesota. And what I wanted to be able to do was just like, you know, have one or two on my belt, they're really light and just really quick because you're just moving through short, you know, range. And maybe I'll fly some of that in if I can get some stuff on Wednesday. But the, um, <clears throat> the um, you know, out here, 
I did have some concern with like, are they going to hold shells? But I don't trust them 100% yet. And what I did notice, like I hit it once in my stock and I did lose some shells, um, which wouldn't have happened with the carbon arms. So for me personally, I found it was a great mix with the two. You know, I have both. I got the kind of high density, high retention with the carbon arms and then have these guys for all the smooth and fast stuff. Yeah. So <clears throat> we're not sponsored by any of these companies. So for us, it's... You can have the gear you want when you want it. If you can afford a multiple, I found that to be a really nice mm -hmm. combination. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, like anything else in 3Gun, it's, it's just a matter of how much you want to spend and how much gear you want to have Correct. piled up, you know, but you know, we've been doing this a lot so for many years, so you, you just start accumulating gear and you kind of pick and choose what's going to suit best for each situation in each stage. You know, obviously, stages change at every every match. So, yeah, it, it's just a, it's a great carrier to have in your arsenal. Totally. Now, as far as setup goes, um, I didn't pull the parts out and look at this. Like, I'm a medium capable guy. Blair's a high capable guy as it relates to figuring out m machine stuff and whatever, right? So, I actually used the instructions for these. It wasn't like the tack arms where I could just, you know, yeah. work it out. <clears throat> and it took me a couple of tries to get it set up. Once I did, they were perfect. And now it's really easy. It's just a matter of like this one screw to adjust the, the you know, the way this is canted. And, um, but I definitely would like, don't throw away the instructions. That's my that's my recommendation. What yeah. did you find when you were setting them up? I mean, those are a lot simpler system. It's just two. Yeah, I, I, I was a no instruction guy. Got um, it. You know, I did build one upside down, but it was just because I was not paying attention. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, it's you know, if you got a kind of mechanical, but yeah, the instructions are straightforward, laid out. They're they're, they're great. So great. We're going to be carrying the eights and the twelves at yep. HawkeyeOrdinance.com about the time this video gets out. Yep. And then um, <clears throat> if you run into a situation where we're out of stock or if um, you want some of the other, you know, modular setups that are available, and there's some really cool ones, uh, check Jeremy Moore at Shooter Source. And uh, make sure you get back next year for the um, Vortex Presents Shooter Source 3-Gun Championship. 2020. 2020. We'll be here for sure. And uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and make sure you sub the channel. That, that really helps us a ton.